Did you find the comedy coach though, Christine? Comedy coach? Are we getting are we getting serious about this? I think I saw this ad on Facebook, but Oh, I, I the captain's look, I, hat. I Wolf. I had to just make sure, and I said, it has to not be ironic. Oh, wait. Actually, somebody, I think, maybe sent this in the Campers Facebook group. Okay. It might have been. I didn't look too much into it because um, I, I had to make sure it was serious first. But I'm looking, and buddy, I think it's it's dead serious. Want to know the secret to being a comedy star? He wrote you a book. already he wrote, have it. He wrote it's a book. you. <laughs> your comedic character. He... Uh, wrote a book already called How to Kill in Comedy. All right. Now, I'm uh, open for it. First is things Steve first. very old comic, though? Or I, I've never heard of Steve book. North, ever. <laughs> I'm kind of down. I, listen, I can always watch film. I could go back, relearn the mechanics. He's what a, has he got? First of all, he wears a captain's hat, and one of his oh, things he'll, he'll do... Sailing the seas are hilarious. One of so his things... He's probably <laughs> this guy's captain in the ship, the USS Chuckle. Yeah, US, USS Giggles. USS. Um, one of his things, It's and it's slid in, by the way, too. It says you could buy the DVD. Yes. Uh, can we buy it? You, you can find that about house? Steve, which we're going to read about Steve for sure. Uh, what they do uh, beyond stand-up show, reviews and articles, and then the next thing, kids coach. Kids spelled with a Z, so you know he's cool. Oh, he's cool. He's not wearing a wire. You don't have to ask your parents. It's okay. Whatever. I don't even... Permission slips are for nerds. I think we start a rival for Steve North called Jake South, and we teach Jacob how to be a comedy coach. Dude. And you, yes. com- you come for his corners. We'll work through you. Yeah. We'll, and then, by the way, we'll be the your book be- will be called, like, Jacob, who wrote the book, How to Slaughter and Call. Oh, <laughs> Destroy the Audience by Jake South. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Jake South, and in this next hour and a half videotape, you're going to learn how to take the audience <laughs> and break them over their, your knee, like you're Bane and they're Batman. And by the way, Steve North, if you're watching this, suck my dick, you fucking old kind. You may know me from jokes like mother-in-law stuff. <laughs> Those damn kids. Also, from such hits <laughs> as Malls in the Morning. <laughs> Restaurant servers. I'm definitely wearing my cowboy hat. Yeah, you may have cowboy hat. You may recognize me from such greats as <laughs> what's with this airplane food? <laughs> what's up with also my wife, lover or hater? <laughs> Other star, such stark observations as what's the, what's the tiny print at the bottom of commercials? I must be getting old, but or such classics as I got pulled over on the way here today. Yeah. You may remember from my. Award winning nominated. Me and my girlfriend just broke up today. You also remember me from the 1998 hit Kids Have Better Toys Today. <laughs> <laughs> you may know me from my dissertation. <laughs> Everything's different now that I'm older. Anyways, I guess I don't understand young people. Suck my nuts, Steve North. I'm coming for your money <laughs> and your lady. <laughs> Just a lot of horse. Yeah. <laughs> now I ride off into the sunset of laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, Steve North, is there videos? Can we watch videos? I want him to break it down well, like first, John Madden. Uh, first, I want to read, first thing I want to do is read about Steve. He fucked your mom. That's all I should say. Break it down, Jay. That's Steve North. He trained everyone from stars to beginners to find their comedic character for stand-up. Acting, writing, speaking. By the way, it looks like he's been 70 years old his entire life. Yeah. I know. picture's black and white. He looks exactly the same now, but it all looks old. Might have been the same photo shoot. Steve North's training can help anyone who needs to be funnier. Steve has worked with everyone from George Carlin to Kevin Nealon and has coached everyone from SNL's Leslie Jones to scores of other celebs and comedy stars, helping them get their persona. Shut. Uh, is Steve North accepting responsibility for telling Leslie Jones? He goes, uh, uh, show your yeah. teeth a lot and and just I mean, I yell. I want you to yell. From the rooftops. But I'm not. I'm I don't more... know, Captain. That ain't really my thing. Yes, you're finding it. Kevin Nealon, what do you want me to do? Talk quickly under your breath. Like this, kind of like this. And then I talk... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Steve can save you two to three years by finding your comedic character. All right. Then growing material from that theme or focus. He calls it finding your house <laughs> before Jesus. you buy the furniture, which is the material. And it works. And it works. Ask as many happy clients. Over the last 15 years in Hollywood, Steve has coached hundreds of comedians. Beginners, touring comedians, sitcom actors, people who want to be funnier. 
In addition to private sessions, Steve and his partner, Barb... Get Barb on the horn. I want to talk to Barb. Offer the longest-running home base for stand-up comedians in L.A. Workshops which provide a creatively healthy, non-competitive environment at home base for comedians to workshop and grow professionally. Do you think this is one of those situations where... If you reached out to someone, like someone that we respect would come through and actually go, nah, Steve North's a good guy. Like Bill Burr would be like, nah, Steve North's a good guy. He, you know, or you just like see Mark Maron. He's like, I know Steve North. Good guy. Help me out a lot. Yo, do you see the bottom? He's tweeting out bits. What keeps happening? Keeps shorting. My wife w- keeps annoying me by vacuuming during the pro football <laughs> games. She claims it doesn't bother anyone else in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, that's, a, that's called the switch formula for my best-selling book, How to Kill in Comedy. The switch uh, formula. Oh, dude, dude, we got to so break great. it down. We gotta, we, I want to start breaking down all the dumb things I do. With all the places they've done it in here. Uh, they've been, they also appear to colleges, conventions, talk variety shows, Thick of the Night, Make Me Laugh, and The Mike Douglas Show. The Norse have written and produced TV shows ranging from The Gong Show to America's Funniest Videos to well, Totally Hidden Video and a slew of others. Check this out. Steve North attended the University of Denver. Hey, so, you're back in with him now. I'm in. I'm on board, dude. Listen to the coach. You are way back in my Bill Belichick. Uh, yeah, he went to Denver and at USC. He trained in comedy with Second City, the committee, Avery Schreiber. What? The Spolin Players. What? Jack Coslin, yeah. Danny Simon, Joyce Selznick, oh, and Estelle yeah. Tepper. They God, sound like, these, they sound like people that would get my nana just fucking it really ramped. Does. It sounds like <laughs> the people that show up. My grandmother, my mom used to play canasta with her friends. And yeah. It sounds like her canasta group. My my grandma goes, hold on, now, Dan, I I knew you were a comedian, but you did not tell me you played with the Spolin players. <laughs> the Spolin players? Ooh la la. <laughs> wait, wait, Danny Simon? What, what do you think you are? Some Danny Simon? That's what my grandma <laughs> says. My grandma goes, what do you? Yeah. This kid thinks he's the next Avery Schreiber over here. <laughs> he's cracking jokes at dinner like he's. Estelle Tepper. <laughs> uh, you wish the Spolin players would have a look at you. <laughs> you couldn't even get an audition with them. You're nothing like oh, you. You're just like your father. You're nothing. Oh, you wish the committee would spit at you. <laughs> you're, you're a piece of shit like your father was. You'll be nothing. You'll the be Spolin nothing. players. Get out. Get out. Scratch my ass. The team of Barb and Steve North have performed live stand up comedy at the Comedy Store in LA. I didn't <gasps> see that immediately. The Improv. I very much need to see that. Ice House and venues all over the world. They're a duo, so they've also appeared at colleges, conventions, and talk variety shows. George Carlin special, Thick of the Night. I read that already. Make me... Oh, you did? Yeah. Dude, let's watch this. We have to. Fantastic. (laughs) There he is. He's everything I hoped he was. Holy moly. Stand Up Fundamentals Highlights. He goes, of course you could call them retarded. That's what they are. He's like, first of all, change your first name to Slappy. People love that. <laughs> if you like soup, then you're soupy. If you like bread, then we call you crumb. He goes, there's words you could your say. Your first name's got to be uh, a, some kind of adjective thing. If a fellow looks gay, make sure you bring it up. <laughs> call him it. If it looks like he doesn't like his wife, hey, if he's, if he's Chinese, well, there you go. There's your act. Hey, everyone, it's me, Goofy Popsicles. What's <laughs> going on? Eh? <laughs> it's just something with an old English last name where it's like me, Bumpers O'Doyle. <laughs> oh, please. I am Bozan, and I'm with Steve North, the comedy coach, and he's going to teach us all about stand-up comedy. Hell yeah. To get us guys, going hold on, pause right it. Hey, campers, are you guys really ready to learn the craft? I know you've heard enough comics come on podcasts and shit and talk about stand-up, but get ready to really learn. Maybe you learn it from a guy who wears a captain's hat every day since 1955. I bet he's been landlocked the entire time. Oh, this guy's never <laughs> set foot on a boat. He's like... Weirdly enough, Steve North, afraid of water. Can't can't swim. Never learned. Bob, like a fish. (laughs) He goes, I take a lot of baths, though. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not, I'm one that stayed in the shower for a long time. (laughs) Never, (laughs) never met a shower I didn't like. It's old time. He's got a slide whistle in his back pocket always. You know, I keep that thing on. Or that jarbly noise thing, like. <laughs> he goes, hey, you know what? Can't say the thing about my own wife, Bob. 
<laughs> He's got all the tools for uh, old old timey radio storytelling. <laughs> He's got the thunder discs where he shakes it. He, he opens it up like an assassin opens a tool shed, and instead of guns, it's, it's all lit old, up. It's, it's this old timey hack comedy tools and a fucking and like a, 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 a incla- enclosing in glass like the special captain's hat. Yeah, he's hacked John Wick where they find out we're talking about him. <laughs> Barb tells him. Barb tells him and he goes, "Give me that." <laughs> you can't go back to that. Ass way by teaching the comedic character method. Well, Steve, All what right. are we going to learn? Good editing. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to learn is to be a comedian and not a comic, to be a funny person, not a joke teller. Okay? What? Okay. Then we're going to learn to create our own unique comedic character because everybody has a different one. So we all have our own. Exactly. Okay. Then we're going to learn the most important writing formulas for Pause it. great stand. For this guy wearing a captain's hat and everything, I'm already blown away by how serious yeah. he is. He's also no bullshit. Yeah, he's like, look, we're not going to fuck around here, okay? <laughs> he goes, first things first, what's your thing? You have a Swedish Nordic background, okay? Let's, let's play the Viking thing. The Dude goes, jot this down. Like, <laughs> yeah. The only way he could have sounded more serious is if he stomped the cigarette out first. He goes, he goes all right. how we play this. <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he goes, all right. Listen, listen, guys. He's also talking to the guy. They're talking. He was like, like Kumia, by the way. Yeah, but the the interviewer looks like he's talking to his girlfriend's uncle for the first time at a party. <laughs> yeah, that's, he's like, that's cool. Yeah, I teach a comedy <laughs> club routine. Well, what's that like? Well, first things first. No bullshit. <laughs> Cut the shit. You find your character. Get your fucking. And he goes, "Whoa!" So everyone has their own character. And he goes. Yeah, that's the en- adi- energy. What's happening here? He goes, so everyone's got their own unique character. That's what I said, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Joke time is over. Yeah. He goes, listen, you're funny on the stage. That's when the jokes are. Right now, it's business. Okay. Then we're gonna wrap it up by learning performance techniques so you can get up there and really do it. Great, I'll be here all week. Yeah, the bright lights. Go fuck yours. yourself. Don't don't do that. <laughs> uh, I think the most important thing to learn is the difference between being a comic and being a comedian. Comedic character is your personal theme or your focus, and if you can get it, it'll save you five years of your time when you're developing your stand-up act. It's like knowing what house you're going to live in before you buy the furniture. Oh, okay, I get it. Like the jokes are the furniture. And your house is your comedic persona. Yeah, that's what exactly. I said. Isn't and it? that's what makes you a comedian and so, a comic. That's what I said. Yeah. Also, Did you go to this- college. Because you fucking suck at this. <laughs> yeah. He goes, also, whoever's playing the jock jams, can you turn it down? Oh I'm trying God. to explain <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm trying to get a point across here, and you guys are fucking blowing me out. Dude, this is great. <laughs> pump, pump the jams, pump it up. Dude, that's what we need. We need, we just need, uh, we can do this, but with jock jams under us, and yeah, just oh. explain comedy. Hey, think about the stuff that's really sad that uh, if you didn't make fun of, you'd want to blow your brains out. And then turn it that's on it. itself. On itself. That's it. The guy goes, that's it? That's it. Dude. I'm dying to see an example. Yeah. It has to be based on some truths about you. That's the most important thing <laughs> the to music? understand. Then we exaggerate. Like me. Uh, I've worked with a lot of stars. I'm the captain. <laughs> he goes, I was I was beaten without mercy in the Navy. <laughs> and so now I kind of wear this cap. He goes, once when I a fraternity kidnapped me and raped me with a boat oar. <laughs> I was scalped. I have to wear this cap. I <laughs> haven't found a way to find funny in that yet. <laughs> but I do, I wear the hat. <laughs> I went fishing with my uncle and him and his buddies took turns on my ass. I haven't found a way to turn that into a joke just yet. I, but it's my, it's my Moby Dick. I had a buffet thing. It wasn't working. <laughs> That's all they're doing. They're taking a truth about themselves and really exaggerating it. There's actually two parts Terrible edit. of a comedic character. The first part is the word flaw. There has to be something wrong with you. Not funny if everything's okay. Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, no life. Everything he says is unimportant. Kathy Griffin. A horrible gossip backstabber. Louis C.K. A loser overwhelmed by everything. Lisa Lampanelli. Gross, insulting. Lewis Black. Uh, well, he he's, gets upset. Too upset? Too upset. Chelsea Handler. Slut. Uh, no? Is that what I do that? Sluts? Oh, man. Rodney Dangerfield. Obnoxious. 
the fuck he said? Hey, uh, I don't really like you guys talking about me. <laughs> Steve, if I find out you're sassing me to some news reporter, I'll break your fucking knees. Yeah. Was it just me or did Bob suck me off in the back of my club in 88? <laughs> he's dead serious. Yeah, dude. He breaks it down like he's on ESPN. Exactly. Rodney Dangerfield. Obnoxious. Son of a bitch. George Carlin is Can too angry. Right. So basically, all they're, these comedians... They're have, just basically guessing on all of them? They're just saying the first thing that comes to their mind? Where they go, Chris Rock. He goes, black guy. He goes, yeah. that is... Pacing back and forth. Michelle... Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Pacing back and forth so faggots don't stare at his ass. <laughs> Ooh, we should never forget that. <laughs> Ralphie May. He goes, fat guy. Fat guy? And he goes, that is... Mention that a bunch? Say it. This is wild. Yeah. Chelsea Handler. Trunk slut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just him confirming it. That you got you no, got that. When he said he goes, Chelsea Hamlin, the guy goes, Trunken sluts, and he goes, There you have it. He gives him a head nod and a hand you're, out. He goes, You're yeah. you're hearing the music. Right. That was the same face that Yoda made when uh when Luke <laughs> Skywalker cut the fucking yeah. orb in half. Mm. Strong you are. Slut she is. <laughs> <laughs> Have a flaw. That's right, and that's why they're big stars. Okay, Steve, you said there were two parts of a comedic character. The first was flaw. Right. The second? The second part is blind spot, and it's very important, because what it means is that the character cannot be aware of what's funny or strange about them. Otherwise, you wouldn't laugh at them. You only laugh at them when you realize... Does he also sound it. kind of cocked? Like he's like a little drunk, or he's like, I'll, oh, tell, yeah. you, I'll tell you what a blind spot is. Kids getting off a bus, walking around the front of the bus, not the back of the bus. That's how you end up with a couple of them in your car, on yeah. your hood. Have you ever heard my speech about the comedy character? No, he goes, do I envy you? <laughs> Sit down. Here you you go. got an hour? <laughs> pour me a stiff one. He goes, now, he goes, your first me. thing's going to be your flaw, and your name should be something that ends in a Y, he your goes, first listen, name. Listen here, Tiny Mario Lopez, if you learn this... <laughs> You'll be selling out Funny Bones in a week. <laughs> Comedy character. Do you hit your okay, wife? First thing, what's your name? Dan Soder, is it? I'm going to name you Daffy Quackers. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who you are? You're an unintelligent bitch. <laughs> I was like, what? You're a guy who, if he fucking looks at my wife again, I'm going <laughs> to knock his fucking teeth out. He's just, that's how he gets he away goes, with talking shit to people. Talking, he goes, Fucking Daffy Quackers comes to the air talking shit and staring at my wife like he's gonna, he's just, like he's checking up the good. He's just hammering and they go, "Hey, fuck you, old man!" He goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm developing your comedy character." Hold up, dude, hold up, hold up. What up? Are your parents together still? He goes, "Hold on, let me get you, let me give you ten dollars. You go down, give me another six pack of Tall Boys, and I'll teach you. Hey, I'll get, teach you how to book get, the Tonight Show." He just crusty goes, just, Get me some uh, uh, one of the Jamaican ones, dude. Yeah, let me get a little. Let me get a little Malibu rum. Uh, what's oh, the fuck? Red stripes. Uh, yeah, red stripes. Goes. <laughs> go get me a uh, six of red stripes. He goes. Listen, <laughs> give me a sack of limes and uh, <laughs> six pack of uh, Pacifico, not Corona. I'm not a fucking nineteen year old girl. All right, come back. I'll have your comedy character ready to rip. He goes. Who is that? He goes. He goes, hey, anybody want something from the store? Daffy Quackers is going. <laughs> he just keeps selling it to everybody. He comes back and he goes, all right, I got the Pacificos, not the limes. Your comedy, your comedy character is a forgetful faggot. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, why he's would you piece, say that? He's a piece of shit pussy. <laughs> he's a piece of shit that won't meet me outside in five minutes. <laughs> what? How is that? He goes, that's your comedy character. You probably don't even see any problems with interracial relationships, right? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, because guess what? I would sell you out theaters if you fucking had the nuts to say it. <laughs> he goes, that'd be your unique character. Outward racism, yeah. unapologetically, and with no punchlines. Bet you won't do it. <laughs> Bet you won't do it. You know what? Just like I heard, Daffy Quackers is a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm not Daffy Quackers. <laughs> like, I don't like you. I, your whole thing's bullshit. Right, let's just see where he, where he takes us. Your whole thing's bullshit. When Rodney Dangerfield was alive, if he came out and said, now I know I'm a foolish old man and my eyes bug out and I dress funny, but I sure would like to get some respect. All right, funny, All right let's, see. let's see how that would go. Hey, I'm a sloppy dresser and my eyes upset everybody. <laughs> Can people like me a little bit? <laughs> hey, what's the deal with my wife? We're in a very <laughs> loving relationship. She understands all my flaws. <laughs> I'm very self-aware. The yin, the yin, the my yang. Hey, honestly, I didn't know what love was until we met. 
She keeps me balanced. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. But I get it. So if the but I get it, man. The character understands what's wrong with them. Instead of laughing, you'll be like, you know what's wrong with you? Go get help. Exactly. Oh, here we go, dude. Here we go. Writing formulas for creating great stand-up material. You got writing jokes from the character. You've got exaggeration. You've got the switch. And you've got combination jokes are out of nope. context. I was hope I hope it's like one. dance moves where they say it at the bottom and it shows how he yeah. does it. Um, this one here's uh, the switch. Hey, that's a nice swimsuit. Now take your right foot and swing it around, <laughs> and now you're going. You're over here, <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to swing it up and say, nice hairdo you take for your, an ugly you bitch. Just, you swing. Take, you take your arms and you swing them over here now. Swing it over here. Is writing stand-up material based on your own comedic character. Okay. You take truths about yourself, maybe flaws, and exaggerate it. Okay, my friends say I procrastinate. How would I use that? Oh, well, that's easy. You because, take it. Done. It's easy. Done. <laughs> You, you, want, you want to see something? You want to see some shit that's going to make you flip your lid? Watch this. Uh, you, you procrastinate. These videos are the reason why people come up to you and say... You would like, exaggerate. I got, a, I got a bit for you. You know what I mean? Like the confidence to do... Oh, by the way, in Orlando, I had a guy that came up to me and he goes, Hey, when you're talking to those girls, why didn't you call them like Karens? You should have called those guys Car or those girls Karens. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, you know, yeah. And he was like, yeah, you should have called them because Karens. He goes, is that is being used enough, Karens? He's not joking. He's like, it's not being used enough, Karens. I go, it's I go, it's actually, I go, it's being like, it's, I go, it's just a little like, I, or I even give him the thing, I try to be a buddy, you know, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I'm not going to say the thing. I try to say different stuff than what everybody else yeah, is saying. Yeah, makes the same point. He was like, dude, I was in there waiting. I thought you were going to say Karens. He goes, would have made it a lot better. Dude, I love your stuff, man. I was like, it would have made it a lot better. <laughs> That's how I feel when people are like, love the show. I was really hoping you were going to pull out some Macho Man. You should have you know, said like, the thing. Go, yeah, what? You should have said that one thing. You should have done the Macho Man impression. The thing that I do for my friends and on radio? Yes. Huh? It's easy. You would take it, you would exaggerate it big, at a blind spot, and you get something funny. Like, my friends say I procrastinate, but next week I'm going to do my back taxes, I'm going to clean the yard, and the week after that I'm going to get right on that potty training thing. Oh, I get it. Potty training, that's the big surprise. <laughs> right. And then you not acknowledging Yo, it. Yo, dude. Anything. Pause this. Let's take our last commercial break because this is not going to... Let, let's go. Let's take our break and come back because that was fucking... I want to hear that all over again. That part. That joke. Fuck. It's on tape. They could have done other takes where he could have thought everyone, that out better. Everyone listening needs to understand that that joke just flattened the room. Uh oh, killed. No, but what I mean, like it killed the momentum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, we, were, we were so happy, and that joke just came out, and we we're all like, everyone did a harumph. Everyone did a oh harumph. for sure. But to uh, know that oh, I need to see. I know though that I now need to see much more of this. So we got to take a break because I don't want to. We'll never take a break if I don't stop. After that joke, this is what this guy's pitching on the video he put out. Oh, Barb North put it out. Well, yeah. Barb. It's a North production. Yeah. It's a North Star production. North North. <laughs> um, North Star Productions, dude. Don't fuck with them. Do Barb. He goes, yeah, you know, Bob, my <laughs> wife, the one who's filming this. Uh, we'll come right back with more Steve North, the comedy coach. Are you back to where we were, Christine? I believe Let's so. Try I don't have a screen right now, Let's, so I'm... Oh, just flying blind? Yeah, I'm trying to do well, it Well, the last here. thing he gave us was a delightful joke about uh, learning how to poly potty train. Uh, no, but procrastination, <laughs> dude. That's his character. He's a procrastinator. Uh, what a fucking joke. Right. What a fucking joke. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Let's see here. Wrong. Wrong. Directed then. Yeah, you, you got switch. It. So, for example, this I was in switch. this tough biker bar. And you should have seen these people. Wiry beards and scars oh, wait, and no, back up. hairy forearms. Do I hold on? I want to hear the reveal. No, but I want to hear it from the beginning. Okay. I didn't, All right. All right. I just, it's the switch. He's doing the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I know a switch when I see one. <laughs> guys, well, I missed the blind spot. <laughs> we're cutting cut the switch. <laughs> I have to see the blind spot one. The blind okay. spot was the potty training thing. Yes. And then when the guy, I want to hear the guy goes... I gotta hear that again when the guy goes. So the pie training's the old zip, right? Oh, That's dude, what gets yeah. him. Here we go. 
the next major formula. I call it just exaggeration. Now, uh, go you back a little. Exaggerate. Go back uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. Try that. Christine's flying yeah. blind. Well, that's easy. You would take it. You would exaggerate it, it big at a blind spot, and you get something funny. Like my friends say, I procrastinate, but next week I'm going to do my back taxes. I'm going to clean the art, and the week after that, I'm going to get right on that potty training thing. Boom! Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Potty training, that's the big surprise. Right. And then you're not <laughs> <acknowledging> <laughs> 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 sure. sure. Are, are you fucking dumb? Of course it's a surprise. He has the energy of, remember the trans chick that uh, was stalking Tiffany? It was like, that was about 17% of my full spade. Yeah. You're lucky I may run it out straight. And out goes, so the that. big pizzazz is the thing uh, when you say the, the potty training goes, exactly. You start, yeah. You're starting to get it now. You start, you're starting to understand that we're building a house. And that was just... Right here, or off the cuff, I thought. I'm telling you right now, that's straight dome piece. Right there for you. <laughs> We're building the house. We just laid a foundation. Hit me yeah. with something else. Drop another beat. I'll lay another one out there for you. <laughs> Here's another good one. But if you know the equation, you can drop in anything. Well, it works. here's the thing, Jacob. You get cold. Great. So what's your blind spot? <laughs> Jacob's so cold. <laughs> Let's see what this like, is. He brings a jacket everywhere he goes. He has to thaw out his penis before he can pee. <laughs> <laughs> and people yeah, around the I... office call him cold. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Slappy Banana learned that one from me. Hey, <laughs> Train, that's the big surprise. Right. Yeah, and then you're asshole. not acknowledging that there's anything strange about you not being potty trained. That's the blind spot. If you can, if you can, kid, shit your pants. Really push it. Also having a name like French Fry Schwartz. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> Do you ever think about having a name maybe fun like Oju Roberts? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? The South? Okay. You're going to be... Peaches Moreau. Yeah. Billy Jack Onion Ring. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Idaho. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You're going to be Monty Delane. <laughs> Stop giving me old timey names. Yeah, your name's Spicy Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> your old Rosemary Krantz. Uh, let's do another one. Here's the next major formula. I call it just exaggeration. Okay. You can exaggerate anything. Yep. Okay. The trick is you have to exaggerate large enough to surprise people. Because okay. people don't laugh unless they're surprised. Okay. A lot of people fall into the trap of not exaggerating big enough. Like, oh. I don't want to say my buddy's put on a few pounds, but... Last night, he couldn't fit through the front door. See, that's not a big enough exaggeration. It gets a smile. What you don't want is the sound of 100 people smiling in a nightclub. Yeah, because wrong. that's the same as the sound of I'll 100 people. I'll be honest. People. If he puts it forth with that energy, they're not going to be smiling. They're just going to feel like he's like, all right, that sucks. <laughs> like, my friend's so fat, he can't even get out of his front door. He goes, sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. He goes, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I can't hang out with him. He literally cannot leave his house. He's a prisoner of his own gluttony. <laughs> It's fucked up. It's like the movie Seven. <laughs> Jesus. He goes, so, yeah. He goes, he's, I can't wait to see what the action, the one is big enough. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, like a, only like a minute or two. Fuck a minute? You. All right, one minute. Let's hear the punch of this. At a funeral. How, how's this one? How's I want to see this big enough. Okay. I don't want to say my buddy put on a few pounds, but last night he showed up on Google Earth. Yes. That's it. Wait, all right, the switch. We got to see the reveal of the switch. You got to show me the reveal of the switch. Hit play. Hit play. This one is called the switch, and it's major. You almost can't see a minute of comedy without seeing a switch. It's just another way of creating surprise. So you misdirect and then you switch. So, for example, I was in this tough biker bar. Yeah. And you should have seen these people. Okay. Wiry beards yeah. and scars uh-huh. and beefy, uh-huh. hairy forearms. Okay. And you should have seen That's the guys. That's just the ladies, and yeah. The- ah, <laughs> so you switched to who there? You know, you're talking about beards, and I thought you were talking about men. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this. Because here's the thing. We'll come back to it Could have done a whole week of shows. We're coming back to this tomorrow, because that's the guy's excitement. He goes, he goes, oh, that's crazy. I just did it. I'm doing it. You see, I just did the Google Earth thing. I'm doing it. We love you guys. DanSoder.com. BigJComedy.com. But first, the cliffhanger we left you with yesterday, just we're all, we are on the same cliffhanger. We watch no further along than you, the listener. I haven't been this excited since uh, Cliff Yates. Comedy coach Steve North is, 
I gotta introduce this. The, the 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 Bash brothers don't even know about this at all. No, they don't. But real quick, we also have to let other people know through bonfire context what we're speaking about, and that's of course comedy coach Steve North. With him and his wife Barbara, Barb for short, Barb have Barb North coached stars from open micers to arena touring comedians to movie stars they have not named one person and not one of those people are willing to give them an endorsement however just trust they have (laughs) also you'll learn such famous comedy techniques as the switchback no the switch the switch it's the exaggeration the exaggeration what was the other uh, the the blind Blind, spot blind spot's huge we're catching you guys up real quick it's a crash course in comedy understand that the two of us together with around 40 years experience of comedy still have a lot to, to learn so much to learn so much to learn i did not know about the blind spot well now you did that joke i want to hear it again yeah bring it back up let's bring up favor, can you bring up the two jokes again i want to do the i procur- my friends say i procrastinate too much i say no way i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna organize gonna... this i'm gonna clean this shed this weekend, gonna... do my back taxes and then i'm gonna get on this potty train thing oh it goes Bazing. Oh. <laughs> Bazing. Oh. Is that the part? Is that the part? Oh, it just hit me like a ton of bricks, bro. That was the part. Yeah, let it roll. Yeah. This is, uh, again, comedy coach Steve North. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. So Probably already did tweet it out, but we'll, we'll do it again. Sent it. Sent it. Oh, I'm going to send it. You know, I'm going to send it. <laughs> Dude, this fucking... He's like a Rob Zombie character. Now, you go gotta back go back. A you gotta bit. go back further than this. I gotta hear the first joke, dude. The old exagger- the old And also we should explain to those of you that didn't listen to the show yesterday, S- Steve North doesn't care. He doesn't really care. This is his video. And he's showing very little interest in it. He could have had as many takes as he needed to get this right. He also could have brought a lot more energy to his own video. Yeah, his face. He looks like confused. And the guy's asking questions. He goes, so stand-up comedy, that's like a, it's an individual art, right? And he has to go, everything's like, yeah. It's like, yes. He is answering questions like he has been confronted coming out of somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm, what? I'm Clark, Clark Gable to... Jr. I'm with Cheaters. He's like, I'm trying uh, to go to my car. What? what? No, what's a switch? And leave me alone. Uh, uh, we'll talk about this at home. Leave me alone. Play it, please. Comedic character. You take truths about yourself, maybe flaws, and exaggerate it. Okay, my friends say I procrastinate. How would right. I use that? Do well, it. It's easy. You would take it, you would exaggerate it big, at a blind spot, get ready. Get something funny. For those like of you who don't listen. My friends say I procrastinate, but next week I'm going to do my back taxes, I'm going to clean the yard, and the week after that I'm going to get right on that potty training thing. Oh, I get it. Potty training, that's the big surprise. Right. And then you not acknowledging that there's anything strange about you not being potty trained. <laughs> Whatever, I shit myself. So what? But I got I do yard work. I'm incontinent, you fuck. <laughs> yeah. I leak shit down my back every day. <laughs> but I do my back taxes and I clean my yard. So suck my nuts. Dude, I can't wait. And he goes, now there's he's also leaving he really is leaving out the dirty comedy school of thought. It would be funny yeah. with his energy to hear him do it. He goes, you <laughs> say something right. like uh the, the only thing that smells worse than a tuna is my wife's garbage ass pussy. You know what I mean? And then, Sir? And then, and then if now, and then I go, uh, and then I go, she says me to eat her pussy, and I says, now, oh, hell no, I'm a grown ass man. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, exactly. That's it. He goes, you're nailing you it. You want to be dirty, yeah, you but you want to be too dirty. <laughs> you know? You're like, uh,. Hey, if if I wanted to f- fuck you in the ass, you fuck me in my ass and then suck your dick, I wouldn't want to know how your dinner tastes. It's just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, I'm going to come in your mom's throat <laughs> until she shits out a rope of my jizz. What are those now tits or like a cum ashtray? <laughs> All right, you guys see where we're going. You played it. Not being potty trained, that's the blind spot. Here's the next major formula. I call it just exaggeration. Exaggeration. You can exaggerate anything. The new Google cologne. Earth. Pa- pause it. The new cologne from Steve North. Exaggeration. We should make a cologne commercial for him where he's like, I call this one exaggeration. <laughs> Funny. Exaggerate it real big. Oh, this All is right. great. Google Earth. You can exaggerate anything. The trick is, you have to exaggerate large enough to surprise people. Because people don't laugh unless they're surprised. They smirk. A lot of people fall. Stop stopping him. Sorry. 
big enough. Man play like, through. I don't want to say my buddies put on a few pounds, but last night he couldn't fit through the front door. See, that's not a big enough exaggeration. It gets a smile. I didn't get you to smile. What you don't want is the sound of 100 people smiling in a nightclub because that's the same as the sound of 100 people at a funeral. How, how is this one? How's it, is this big enough? Okay. I don't want to say my buddy put on a few pounds, but last night he showed up on Google Earth. Body shaming. Yeah. Body shaming. Boo, cancel. Up, body shaming. Cancel. When is this from? 2015? Boo. Body shaming. Body you should shaming. know that larger people have problems like heart disease. You and, can see me on Google Earth. <laughs> yeah, this is cruel. That's cruel comedy. Steve That's North. Trash. You are you are the captain of the ship of misery. He goes now something about like you know everything's so casual. He goes something about not wanting like you know Hispanics or blacks in your neighborhood, for instance. He goes now this one is a real fun one. Do you have a town near you that most of the people in the room know is the dumb town? <laughs> Great. You say this guy talks so slow. He's the smartest person in that town. Uh, Asian hate's real big right now, so you might want to lay low on that for the time being. But their time will come again. Don't you know you who you could bang on? Any of the Islanders. The Islanders you could bang on for sure. Middle East, still fair game to the best of my knowledge. Uh, Go keep playing. This. Having an airport drink with Steve North would be fun. Oh. Just picking his brain for comedy as he's just getting hammered. I, in a million years, you know, tell life, you, I would never tell him that I was a comic. I would simply tell him that if I, I was I've been thinking fan. about trying comedy. Can I tell you? I had Judy Tenuta in the back of the Tonight Show. Shut up. Yeah, I, hand to of Christ. I swear to God. Hand of Christ. Don't tell Barb. She'll rip my dick off like a chimp. Rita Rudner. Rip. this Pudner. I went through all of them. All. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I told her to call herself Slappy Pudner. She didn't like my advice. I wasn't a coach yet. I was still a player. I jerked off in front of Paula Poundstone. I knew she hated it. I knew it. By the That's way, what made me finish. Can I tell you a secret between <laughs> us? She's all pads. <laughs> Those shoulders slope something wacky. Goes, I didn't want to tell you that. I didn't want to pull the curtain on her. <laughs> yeah, like, Martin Short and me had gay sex once. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slow kiss with Julia Louis-Dreyfus <laughs> when she was on SNL. She was a young, just a young comic. A young little sweet thing. I was trying to think of Fred Rocket, who's the guy that killed himself. From SNL. This one is called The himself? Switch, and it's major. Oh, The Switch. This was my favorite one. This is major. I forget it. You almost can't see a minute of comedy without seeing a switch. It's just another way of creating surprise. So you misdirect and then you switch. So, for example, I was in this tough biker bar. And you should have seen these people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wiry beards and scars and beefy, hairy forearms. And you should have seen the guys. Ah, so you switched to who there? <gasps> oh. You were talking about beards, and I thought you were talking about men. Dude, he's just, really he's just standing there. He's just standing there not looking at him. For the people who can't see the video, he's just, the captain is just staring ahead. Steve North is just staring ahead, nodding. Like, yeah, catch up, buddy. Hey, I just honestly, blew your guys, fucking mind. If you told mind. me these guys weren't in the same room, I'd believe you. Yeah. But they're on camera together with a green screen behind him of him just shaking his head of a, of a trippy Salvador Dali clock. <laughs> yeah, well, it's comedy time, dude. Uh, it's yeah. zany. It is zany. <laughs> but yeah, he he looks like he was stopped on the street and regrets agreeing to do a two minute yeah. interview. But it's the promotional thing for his comedy school. Yeah, he put up the video. I don't understand the. The, the lack of intrigue. Yeah, it looks like he's been bothered by this today. Contempt for the audience. That's what <laughs> killed it. That's what killed Dennis Day's career. They want to like you. <laughs> they want to like what's with the lip style. They want to like you. All right. Back to Steve North. And that's the trick with the switch. You have to misdirect in the setup. So, okay. Ryan, we can actually switch. Like, who, I've been what, barbed this when? entire time. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Steve is now barbed. Now Steve again. Oh, oh, my God. You're schizophrenic. You're good. <laughs> you're good. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he's split. He goes, this is the horde. He just fucking runs to the wall. <laughs> now I'm Dylan. Yeah. I'm a little boy who's molested by a mean mommy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. He went crazy. He went sideways. Guys, he went sideways. Ah, uh, shit. North, his splits yeah. all came together. That's why Barb's there. Barb's like, I got him. Stevie. Yeah, Barb's a therapist. Yeah. I'm court. She's where? court ordered. Barb North, unrelated. <laughs> Switch to where? 
All right, here's the thing. My wife really annoys me because during the football games, she is always vacuuming. Drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. And she's like, I don't see why you're bothered. It doesn't bother anyone else in the stadium. <laughs> oh, that's great, dude. His, his dip off of... Dude, you got you are fast, Steve Noe. <laughs> oh my God! I said hey, everyone else in the stadium. No, I I kind of want to know whose security is so lax you can get a vacuum into a fucking stadium and find an outlet for it. He's just doing all the. Where are you from? Right here. Huh. You live in the comedy club? Oh, Whoa. oh, rent must be cheap. Ah. Cruise ship comedy. Steve North, the comedy coach, will make you keep everything you got. His, uh, we did the switch. We did the exaggeration. The and blind now, spot. Now we're going to get into the old combo plate. Oh, uh, you guys ready? Here comes the old one, too. Here comes an old fucking pork fried rice with an egg roll and a <laughs> little bit of chicken, General Sal's chicken. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Hell no. no. Oh, hell no. No. You better not tell me the internet. I ain't working for this. Don't oh, hell you no. dare. Oh, hell no. Stevie. Stevie Franchise. Come to us. Lou, is it you? Do you have to no. pot it up? No. No? No. I'm getting no. 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 Audio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not my captain. Oh, captain. Oh, no. My captain. Oh, this is hell. Oh, son we of are a in bitch. hell. Guys, we, we are in hell. What do you want me to tell you? I blew all the clips <laughs> on a guy calling himself a comedy coach. <laughs> um, Just a food no. of I might need to restart, no. guys. Read it. Bye. Peace out. Come back in one piece. No. Later. Bye. Who gives a shit? No. no hey. No. I don't no. Care. I push her away before she can time. push me away. Please leave. Before she pushes me away, I push her away. Yeah, that was in there. <laughs> By the way, this is a really funny video to do your own dub over. Hey, It'll never make I sense on the radio. But but everyone's going, like, yes, yes, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Listen when I talk. Wow, you're so smart, Captain. You say such funny jokes. Do you ever think about doing your own skits? Man, did he do stand up? Yes, that's the thing. We have to like pump, pump the jams, pump it up. Black Lou, can you look up Steve White stand up? Steve, I want to see him in the ring. No, Steve, in the ring, Steve White. Is it not? It's Steve North. Steve North. I'm sorry. We've been shake your body. Sitting on your couch. Baby, shake your body. Smoking for a couple hours. <laughs> shake your body for me. That's always the best part. Of, that's just the background, of course. And it's just dry, dumb shit about comedy. Where he's like, that's when. You overemphasize. Something. You know, Technotronic was always aligned up with uh, lesbianism because the singer was what I believe they call him now in the lesbian community a stud. Nice. <laughs> I think that's yeah. what it's called. Stud. Now, yeah, it is. It is right. Yeah, they're called studs. Yeah, I think uh, I think Technotronic was a stud. Pump it, funk it, funk it, triple this. Do you think like uh, Jack dudes who bang older married ladies are pissed that that name got taken from them? They're like, but we're studs. Yeah, no, different though. How to funk it, pump it, bump it, slam, Looks like jam, triple this. Steve North doesn't have any anything on wax. He's take he's removed it because he said he's done stand up. Yeah, you got a coach, you got to pull it, dude. He tells you where he's done stand up at the ice house in uh, your mom's house. My mom's house. <laughs> Damn exaggeration. Damn, Damn. Whoa. Blind spot. <laughs> that right there was a salad. That was a Stevie North salad. When he watches you, when he coaches you, when you do your so, first days in the back, he goes, no. he goes switch, switch, <laughs> switch. Hit the switch. Goes, Hit the exaggerate. switch. Exaggerate. Exaggerate. Character. Exaggerate. Character. Character. Goes, switch. Oh, kid, he's not exact. You're not exaggerating big enough, kid. Him doing the thing in the corner. A corner man. Google chairs. Earth. Google Earth. <sighs> What's going on, Coach? Spin the bucket. Don't swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> you're out there switching, and you're exaggerating. <laughs> they're, they're not showing me nothing. They're not showing me anything. Hi, Christine. You don't want to swallow, swallow that water. It's going to cramp you up. You want to hear me say it? <laughs> you want to break me down? Right, I'm afraid. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Man, what if we had Steve North on the show to watch our stand up and break us down? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Pump up the jam. What about when he tell when he breaks down what's going to really suck when he breaks down everything you do possibly with just like when you hear it in <laughs> what's the word I'm describing? When you hear, when you hear it in, in, in one descriptive word for the thing, yeah. how much it would hurt to hear he goes Simple misdirection. Yeah, you simple go. misdirection. There you go. So he goes, he goes, Shut up. Exaggeration. Simple misdirection. And he, he goes, goes. And he goes. 
just working blue. That's lazy. Yeah, I go, just direct, you're like, oh, it was good. I'm gonna go, oh. I go, this is everything I say to my, about myself. Yeah, yeah, only I, I tell myself this. Do I got a wacky brow hair? No. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You got one right I got a wacky son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. get it, dude. No, dude. No, you got to get it. No, dude. It looks cool. I'll get it if you don't get it. It looks cool. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say. Does Abe Vigoda look cool to you? Yeah, fucking yeah. wacko. Abe Vigoda fucking rules. Christine, I got to... <laughs> Jesus Did Christ, I get it? you psycho. Did I get it? Yeah, just pull, he's he's pulling cool. your hair out of your face like mankind. I don't know if I got it. What are you doing? Did I get it? This is it. Oh, God. Jeez, oh, look at that. There it is. Yeah. Nah, I needed to come out. No, it didn't. Now, that was a problem. Now, let's check a combo. Let's see if the volume works. Funky, spunk it, spunk it, triple dose. Dude, it, but also, I'm totally down for a Steve North comedy audit. For him uh, coming over here and just auditing our ass. Me too. I, I want to just send it to him blindly. Like, have the show send them him our video and let him just critique. <sighs> just go through. And I, by the way... I don't even want him to critique my old comedy. I don't want him to critique me. I want to break me down right now. Send him son of a Gary. Let him him rip. At the end of the day, if you take out the subjects of anybody seeing a black dick, uh, the guy's only got one story. (laughs) What do you want me to tell you, boy? When he sees me, he goes, what do you want me to tell you? You miss your dad. (laughs) (laughs) All right. right. I think there's more to that. Move on. (laughs) He ain't coming back, kid. That's coming from the captain. It's called the combination yes. or out of context. And basically what you do is you take two things that really don't belong together and you put them together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like let's say I'm dating this dental hygienist and I really think she likes me because she wants to see me again in six months. I see. So you take two worlds that really don't match and you make them live together. There have what? been entire TV series. <laughs> What's he talking about? What the fuck? By the, way, by the way, pause this. If I was taking a test on, on what that what, when he what the joke he just did, if he was like, mm-hmm. "What was that?" and if I, I would not have guessed combine, I don't know what I, combine. I'm, I'm, I'm actually lost in the class right now. I'm asking questions. I'm going, like, "I'm sorry." That was the switch. I hate to be that guy, but like I, I don't even remember what he just said because I know when he finished was it, it, I was like, "That's not yeah. a combination of what also, one with it don't belong. What didn't belong together?" I want to blast the dude on the left with a chair. The way he reacts to everything. I swear to God, this guy <laughs> needs to be fucking throat punched for sure. He's like, Honestly, "Wow, wanna, that is." Yeah, I want to crush his voice box. You know what? He's talking to the captain like he's trying to fuck him. Like he's putting him over. Like he's yeah. constantly like, "Whoa, I've never thought about it like that." Oh, you think the captain's a sugar daddy? He's like, "Hey, daddy, listen, I wanted to go play with some of my friends down at the bar. Just before we have hot sex, daddy, would you mind giving me a couple of your comedy powwows?" Hey, da- hey, hey, hot daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big daddy, can you teach me how to do a misdirect? Hey, daddy, Captain the Sea Daddy. <laughs> All right, go back because I want to hear that joke that didn't make sense. Yeah, I got to. W- yeah, please. Okay. Together, and you put them together. All right. Like, let's say I'm dating this dental hygienist, and I, I really think she likes me because she wants to see me again in six months. I see. So you take two worlds that really don't match, and you make them live together. <laughs> What there is, have been entire TV series. I don't know what he's talking about. I know. What is it? Where was this move? Because he's I, I, dating I, a dental hygienist. I want to make sure. I, I'm make sure. Things are going I, well. I understand, so. there's a, I understand the joke. Yeah. She's going to see me again in six months. He thinks it, that she likes him. But it's a the point but it's for because she's the point for another dental I, yeah. I get. But what's the com- is, What's the two things the, that don't what, go together? Is the combination supposed to be a... a well, he uh, says simply two things that don't oh, go together. he's saying it's a combination of previous things. No, he's not. Things. No, he's not. Listen to his description again. No, he's not. He says you take two things that don't go together and put them together. That's what he says. Oh, man. See me again in six months. Let's go back. No, no, you got to go back to describing what the combo is. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. And she's like... <laughs> It's revolution. That's fine. I don't see why you're bothered. It doesn't bother anyone else in the stadium. You see how I did that? You see what I did? You see that? Combination. Listen. Combination or out of context. And basically what you do is you take two things that really don't belong together and you put them together. Like, let's say I'm dating this dental hygienist and I really think she likes me because she wants to see me again in six months. 
I see. So you take two worlds that really don't match, and you make them live together. What is he They're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. He just he says knows. the thing. He's, he's not talking about what was just said. He's spinning you out even more. You're like, yeah. it's not two different worlds. I don't it's like two this. Different worlds. I don't like the way it's making me feel inside one bit. This is making me, this is giving an internal reaction to me. Yeah, well, it's... I think Chris, Christine's right. I think he, he combined dating and dentistry in one joke. Oh. That's a combination. It's vague. But I mean, that's all I got. I'm not saying she's wrong, but I mean, yeah, that's a that's a deep stretch. It's a deep, deep stretch. It's a combination. Actually, Jay, it's called a combination. <laughs> all right, well, let's see where this. Uh, let's see where the captain takes it. Ah, uh, dude! If I was driving in a car listening to this radio show, that would have that would have made me <laughs> jilt my wheel a little bit. It's a combination. It's a combination. Match, and you make them live together. There have been entire TV series and movies based just on one combination joke. Yeah. Like uh, The Sopranos, gangsters in therapy, two worlds that don't go together. Like if we were going nice. to combine Disneyland with a prison theme, right. you'd have like it's a small sell after all. I hate you. Or the Main Street electrical <laughs> chair. Yeah, this kid I deserves to get mugged. You. I hope he gets mugged you. a lot. Honestly, I think I would come in from the back of that swinging, like from the back of that comedy time banner. Yeah, just, yeah, you just see my Yo, this guy, through. This guy's got to go. Got, Captain, do your shit. Captain, but this guy's got to go. Off the boat. I can't. He's on the, He picked a really unlikable person to okay. be in his pitch video. So I guess I could probably do it where I would say Disneyland with a prison's theme, where I would, instead of teacups, it's anal rape. <laughs> yeah. Anal rape and saucers. And that's pretty, right? And he's like, oh, God. He's like, well, God, you really with, are my you probably go with teacups and anal rape because, you know, you, you flip it and then the switch combination <laughs> plate. <laughs> Slap it up, like, flip it, rub it down. You really. Bam. You really are my sister's kid. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Get out of here. I believe it's his sister's. That might be Barb's kid. Yeah, Barb for sure. Put, from her first marriage? From her first marriage. Put Jonathan because, in the movie. Because his reaction to these. He fucking so dude, I wouldn't be upset. Cause I'll tell you what, if we're being honest, Steve North looks like an old boxer a little bit. The way he holds his hands, it, it's got some broad shoulder. He'll see he could, uh, could throw a few, and it, this would be satisfying. And I'd be a okay with his attitude if fucking Stevie North just put one across this guy's I chops. It. I love I it. I mean, just stretches him out. I would absolutely. I would lose it. Let's uh, let's watch a little bit more, and then we got to take a break. I'll lose it. Cause it's already six oh five. Or the Main Street Electrical Chair. Or Pirates of Solitary Confinement. Right. Okay, Steve, I got my comedic character. Right. I got some great material based on my character mm -hmm. and the formulas. Am I ready to get on stage? No. Ouch. What? Without a good performance, none of it works. Well, the first most important thing to understand is that stand-up comedy is a conversation. It's not right. an analog or a sketch or a performance. You look at them, look them in the eye, talk to them like you're talking to a good friend. Have the conversation. You have to say things like you really care about them. No matter how ridiculous or stupid the thing you're talking about, you have to be passionate about it. Last performing By the way, pause it real Ryan. quick. What's really fucking hilarious was he took those so much time, like... The way he filmed this is so ridiculous. His, his editing alone, he was like, at a video's getting a little long. So at the end, he starts going, like, timing. Yeah. Talking about the he, stage we, presence. He still wanted a header for everything. Yeah, so stage he presence. just crams it in and, and slow fades out. It reminds me of the uh, Mulaney joke where he's like, where you're, whenever you draw a poster, you always run out of space for the words. Yes, you that's exactly what's happening about. right there. Yeah. And now he's going, because the first thing he's like, it's like this. And he's like, can I try a joke too? Oh, well. Sure, dummy, go ahead. And then he does it. He's like, yeah, or like, Google Earth. Yay. And then yeah. they did all that shit. And now he's like, timing. Timing is everything. Stage present. Stage present. You got to have it. <laughs> yeah, he's just going, but he's going through, like, picking up the cards, reading it, and throwing it. He goes, uh, next. Uh, bravado. Fuck. All That's right. exactly uh, what he's doing. Shit. Have a conversation. Look him in the eyes. <laughs> All right, he's Dave lettering <laughs> towards the back. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Get on stage, stay on stage a lot. <laughs> and uh, what else? Um, what else? Uh, all right, let's take a break. No, we got no, no, it's, it's oh. seconds left. All right.
He's, I just, he's gunning through them now. It's so funny. Good. I wanted to get to my jokes as fast as I could. That's a big mistake that a lot of beginners make. You've got to slow down. Remember, speed kills. you got to think of it like music. You're hitting beats, pauses, beats. Wrap up. You learn the most important skill. Oh, here it is. To get us going in stand-up comedy the right way. One, develop your comedic character, your persona. Use exaggeration, switch, and combination formulas to write great material. And be a great performer by connecting, being conversational and real, slow down, and use attitude. Stand up. What a fucking joke. (laughs) 